Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hey, Good evening. Good evening. Day one, can you hear me? Yes. I can awesome. hear you. Awesome. Very well. Let's just wait for the others a little bit. How's the heat? It's uh, overwhelming. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Where, where are you, David? I am in Santa Tecla, but uh, before Santa Tecla was uh, La Ciudad de las Colinas, but now is La Ciudad de las Colonias. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, there are so many people here and there are uh, still building. Uh, Fields and uh, houses and many, many. They're building buildings. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I used two devices, teacher. I used two devices because of my my phone camera or my computer sometimes fails, and I use. Oh my god! Phones. Yeah, I'm, I I didn't yeah. notice before. If you would yes. have mentioned that, <laughs> I didn't notice. So we're we're what we're we're five then. Oh my god. I'm getting concerned now. We're five. And we're supposed to be 14. Wow. Okay. Well, so tell me, tell me about yourself, guys. What's going on? What have you been doing um, all this time? Um, or how long did you wait for, for this module to start? Well, we wait uh, about uh, we waited. Month? We waited. Wait, they... Sorry, sorry. Yes. Yeah, no, no, don't say sorry. Don't say sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Uh, about uh, one month, I think. Something like that. One month? Yes, but for me it's okay because I I am not like a chicken. I go to bed early, early, so early, and <laughs> at this time I am I am uh, asleep now. But uh, you're sleepy. Time, yes, but uh, uh, I I waste a lot in, in this month. I go to bed early, went to bed early, and it was good for me. But it's, it's okay for me to learn English too. Awesome, awesome. Why are you learning English, David? I am a teacher, a math teacher. I teach supposedly in, in English, but I teach in Spanish. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's the trend. That's the trend right now. This year, this year started yeah. with a lot of TikToks about English, but uh, English spoken in Spanish. And, <laughs> yes. but, but, you know, it works. It actually works. Hey, William. Yes, it, in, in my case, it's necessary because uh, I, I, I take the students in eighth grade and uh, I need to get to do the translation because eighth and ninth grade I give, uh, I need to teach in, in English, but in 10th and 11th, I need to teach in Spanish. Hmm. And uh, in the meantime, I, 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 I do the, the, the adjustment. They need to, to, to know the terms uh, both in English and Spanish. And for that reason, it's, it's good for me and for the for the coordinator that I, I teach in Spanish because they need to know both. Mm. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe you can use some techniques. If you need any help, just text me. Um, what I will recommend you with teenagers like William is to push them, you know, and make things a competition. Make uh, things yes, funny. Yes, they it's, like that. Yes. It's it's always a survival, you know, it's it's a, a campaign in the in the classroom. And they love it. If you keep yes. them entertained, they will understand, they will play with you, they will 
man, it, it's amazing. Teenagers are are incredible. Yes, yes, sure. you're right. No, I'm not white. I'm kind of. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Jose mean you're frozen or what? No, wait. Wendy, oh my God. <laughs> How's my city town doing? <laughs> oh, your microphone. Come on. <laughs> okay. This day. Wendy? No? Can hear you yet. William, everybody, let's test your microphone and camera, guys. Make sure everything works. Yeah. Good evening. Hey, what's up, William? How are you? I'm good. Thanks. Okay. Okay, Wendy. Good, good, good. So, what's up, William? How, how have you been doing? I've been doing well. Just working? Working. Uh, doing some exercise, sports, yeah. Oh, really? That's good. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm waiting to start doing exercises. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, it's just I've been out of a car for three months already. So the plans of going to the gym have failed. But this week, this week, the car will be out of the garage. So I will be able to. I hope I'm able to start going with the kids to Indes and they get the Taekwondo classes, you know, eh. okay. for the kids, for the kids. Yeah. That's the idea. Right. Yeah. Ana Claudia, I cannot see you. Let's test your microphone. Let's... Okay. There you are. Okay. Are you working? Kind of, still kind of looking at my other computer. <laughs> ah, forget about work right now. Come on. <laughs> I'm just sending some emails. And... Okay. They won't read them. They won't read them. Don't worry. It's too late already. <laughs> but it's part of my KPIs metrics, so I need to send them. K K KPIs? You're working on KPIs? That's right. Wow. Okay. My respect. <laughs> okay, but well, it's just reporting reporting the results, or you're creating no, no, KPIs. No, no, no. I, I I work a, I work for a call center, right? I'm still working at. Yeah, home. I know. I, I know which call center. So I used to work there too. Oh really? Yeah, but oh, long time ago. <laughs> you you were not there, maybe. Do you think so? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been there. I'm part of the antiques of this call center. <laughs> you're part. No, you say you're. You're part of the active, what, what is it? The fixed uh, asset. You're part of the fixed exactly. assets. Yes, exactly. I, I was about this to become. Coming, this coming June the 5th, I will be, let me check. Uh, I'm working there since 2016. So I will be in my 17th birthdays working. Seven, wait, wait a minute. Seven. Se 17th seven. anniversary. 17th anniversary. Seventh, Wait, seventh yeah. anniversary. Yeah, seventh, seventh. Seventeen. Seventeen. No, wait. So. Yeah. I, I, wait. I've I was been there. there working since two thousand and six. Oh, twenty. Oh, you said twenty sixteen. So I was like, wait. Okay, two thousand six. Oh, yes, you met me. You met mm -hmm. me. I was there from two thousand nine to two thousand twelve. When we were still, we were still there, or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that yeah i know yeah it was wonderful years man yes it was amazing mm -hmm. it was amazing yeah i was there right in the transition oh, let's okay. see i don't know let me see jose osmin jose wilfredo are not here which are your oh yeah jose, jose osmin is part of your working team right okay Good guys, so we are 10 now out of 14. I think that's a good number. Let's start the class. I'm gonna start with a short presentation, which is like a must. 
but before doing that, maybe I, I should do the attendance. Um, I hope you can use Zoom at this point with, you know, for some, um, let's see, some enhancements of tools. If you know how to use reactions, can you put an emoji or any face to answer the question, um, is this your first time in this module? If, if it is your first time in this program, can you put an emoji? Is your no right? Nobody. Everybody's coming from Advanced Five, I guess, with English Corporativo. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Everybody. Everybody. Okay. Grace, uh, you're breaking up. Can you repeat that? Um, this is my first time in this uh, type of classes. Okay. It's not. It's not your first time. It is. It is. My first time. Yes. Oh, really? Where, where are you coming from? Uh, sorry. From life. <laughs> I'm coming from life. <laughs> Just, I'm you know. coming from life, yeah. <laughs> Awesome. That's good. Okay. Um, I think your headset, your headset's microphone is on the wire. Okay. So maybe you, if you get the wire closer. It actually doesn't have a microphone incorporated. It's from the computer. Oh, okay, that was better. Now, okay. now sing something. No, <laughs> <laughs> I I rather not. <laughs> Excellent English, I love it. Okay, guys. Well, as you may know, this class will be fully in English. Okay, um, we'll try, we'll try. Okay, we're supposed to speak English at all times. I hope you did on, on the previous module or if you didn't then at least I hope you have been practicing because it's, it's, it's the main goal for this module. Second main goal is for you to be here in every single class but we will get to that in just a minute okay I'll do the attendance really quick so we can move on. This is our first day so I have here let me see Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. That's a teacher. This sounds like Spanish, right? <laughs> oh my God. David and Samuel Clone. Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Excellent. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Not yet. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Please turn on your camera. And by the way, let me stop this. You must turn on your camera just for this minute, okay? No matter what you're doing, just cover yourself up if needed. Show me your face because InsaForb is going to audit this part of the video. So I must see your face. I'm here, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Thank you, Fernando. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Not yet, okay. Gracia Elizabeth Diaz Vasquez. Here. Excellent. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. I'm here, teacher, present. Tonight. Excellent. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Turn on the camera. Thank you. There you are. Okay, now we know it's you, Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Jose Wilfredo, no. Okay, Juan Miguel Bran Mejia. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, thank you. I think teacher Dora is in another group. I joined uh, the, the meeting uh, from the email link. Yeah, but I... Uh, <clears throat> I joined another uh, to another meeting. It, I, I think it was the group five or more five. five in intermediate five. Later. Yeah. But, so maybe she was on a different. Oh, okay, Luis. <laughs> okay, so yeah. maybe she she got the wrong link. You mean? No, I I, yeah. I got the same link. Oh yeah. my God! We'll get uh -huh. to the bottom. So, yeah. So I I have to to leave the other uh, meeting and. Take a look to the WhatsApp mm -hmm. and join this meeting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me do something really quick. Let's correct that. 
really quick here. Yes, in the in the first uh, uh, WhatsApp message, they send the old link. In uh, today, they send the cover link. Let's mm -hmm. link to join the WhatsApp group. If you know somebody, just, just like Dora, you know, if they, you know, they are in a different group, please send them that. And da, 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 the link for this meeting. I'm just gonna send it from here. Hold on. And that's the link for our meeting tonight. Okay. Let's keep going. I was with Juan Miguel. Let's go with Luis, Albert, Steve, Bonilla, Canales. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. Okay, Wendy, Patricia, Molina, Duarte. Your microphone. Okay, I got you, I got you, Wendy. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Is that present for me, Wendy? Oh my God. Okay. Okay. So let's get this started. I'm going to start sharing my screen with the presentation that we must go through today. Welcome to Advanced 6. Tonight, uh, oh, tonight is our first day out of how many classes? Who can answer that question? 25. 25 classes. Oh, my God. Yeah. You're going to be very happy at the end. Hello, Wendy. Yeah, I can hear you. It's good. Okay. Yeah. So let's go through this. I'll, I'll, the presentation is in Spanish, but I'll do it in English as must. Um, for those who of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Rafael Antonio Rodriguez Linares. But if they ask you in English Corporativo, who's your teacher? You must say, my teacher is Mr. Linares because that's the way they know me, okay? Uh, Mr. Linares. I like Rodriguez better, but that's okay. So this is our model six about me really quick. Um, I started international relations or foreign affairs. That's the right name for the um, career, but I didn't finish to be honest with you. I, I am, um, I do have a certification um, to train teachers and I also have some diplomats in, in some things like information technologies. Um, I also, the last certification I took was with um, the OIT, if you know, okay, the International Labor Organization. And that was amazing. It was really good. As well, that was to train teachers and to develop um, teaching techniques, approaches for, um, not just for English, but for any for any kind of um, assignment, you know, any subject that you want to teach, how to do it online in a more um, dynamic way, because, you know, online classes are a little bit boring sometimes, and but you have to find ways to make them more entertained, as well as, as live classes, that's the best. Uh, this is outdated um, by now. By now, I've been working in call centers for Oh my God, 18 years, I think. Hold on, 2005. Yeah, that's like 18 years or so um, in call centers and different call centers. I've been um, working not just as taking calls, you know, uh, but I'm also, I have also been a supervisor. I've been on QA and currently I'm working with a call center, but it's not taking calls, it's from home. And um, it's more like, working with fraudulent charges on cards. I've been working there for almost three years and I like it. It's very nice. It's very, very nice. I work from 5 a.m. to 12.30. So if you text me in the morning, I may reply to you really quick. Um, during the afternoons, I'm still at home, you know, and I work on something else. Um, I was in another academy where I was a manager of two branches. I was developing teachers there too. And my main thing, and this is something positive, I always mention this because uh, I like saying this, I started uh, a technical career on industrial 
administration of companies, which was amazing. And it and, and it is it has a lot to do with this course, with this program, English for Work, because I learned a lot of stuff from the books, you know, they basically took the books out of that program, that technical career. So moving on, when you connect to this platform to Zoom, make sure you enter your full name, um, ignore that part of Oyente or Chaos Listener that doesn't apply for you anymore. Make sure your camera is on during the whole session and try not to be on a noisy uh, ambient and a noisy environment. That's very important for all of us. Active participation, don't worry about that. I'll take care of that. I'll make sure you participate because we're going to use the Pareto law. Who can tell me what is the Pareto law? What is that? 80-20. Uh-huh, the 80-20. Who is going to talk 80%? Me? Mm. In our, our class. Would you like me to talk 80% of the class? <laughs> no. Sometimes, yes, but uh, no. not all the times. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Most times you have to speak. Okay. At all times. It's not me. My job is just to correct you when needed. Uh, make sure you develop the English mostly in this module. Make sure that you polish the last things, you know, you're missing. I'm sure all of you are good students. So we will apply something else, you know, some things as a plus, not just the book, not just what we're going to see on grammar. During the class, we must focus on, on, on the topics of the class. That's for sure. Okay. Um, moving on, you must be here 100% of the classes. That's important for this Last module, it is a must. Y la única vez que me van a escuchar hablar en español, tienen que estar aquí el 100% de las clases, aunque sea manejando y te, se tenga que conectar con los datos mientras que llega a su clase, a su casa, tiene que estar acá, ¿ok? That's really important for, for this module. And the, taking the attendance is not just, you know, being here but also to attend the class, the whole class, the two hours. Remember that when you connect to Zoom, everything is recorded on this class. So the time is recorded and based on that, InsaForb um, matches matches the attendance list with the time connected. So that's, that's critical. Um, we take it two times actually, I heard, it is two times now at the beginning of the class and at the end of the class. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is that right? Yeah, right. That's right. At the beginning and at the end. Okay. Okay. And again, you have to say present or here and you must have the camera on. Again, that part is the most important for Insafor because they need to see your face. They need to see that Juan Miguel is Juan Miguel, that Luis Albert is Luis Albert. Is not somebody else okay every day we will i will say for example tonight i must stay tonight i have to stay with ana claudia gonzalez for 10 minutes at the end of the class tuesday david samuel wednesday dora elizabeth thursday with fernando and so on okay and i will start telling you hey please stay 10 minutes at the end of the class okay and why does it say permisos no disponibles? Because I cannot say, let's say Juan Miguel text me and say, hey, you know what, I, I, I'm not going. I have a date with my girlfriend. I'm going to say, oh, okay, I'm sorry, but yeah, I, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't say yes, it's okay, don't worry. I don't have power on your attendance. That's the point. Okay. Very important. There is a platform. Do you have access to the platform? I didn't try, but, but I always have uh, access. Okay, if anybody has issues with the platform, just let us know so we can correct that. Um, your homework is basically the platform, okay? After each class, you should stay a few minutes, finishing the part we have started on the class. You can move forward if you want and finish unit one tonight, finish unit two tomorrow. I mean, if you know the topics, most likely many of you do, 
just move on with the platform so you don't have any inconveniences. We don't have any inconveniences with the platform. Okay, I will keep pushing you on that. We are starting today and we're finishing on July 4th. Is that correct? Independence Day. What? Independence. Independence Day. Day. Independence Day. June, yes. July 4th, right? Yeah. July 4th for USA, <laughs> not for us. You, you know what? I, I, I see yeah. here June 30th, but that's incorrect. We're not finishing on June 30th. Let me see. One, two three, four, yes, oh, you know what, yeah, like that. yes, June 30th, we will be, we will be done on June 30th, wow, so today is May 29th, we're finishing on June 30th, okay, you can download the, the, what, the manual, the, the book, the student's book from the platform, if you need it, I can send it to you tomorrow as well, to the WhatsApp chat, so you can download it from there, remember to have your microphone off, if you need to speak, just raise your hand. I guess at this point, you do know how to do it. About the camera, make sure you have it on. This is a virtual class, but let's have that sense of presence by having our camera on, okay? There is a chat and we, I like using the chat on Zoom and the chat on WhatsApp a lot. So get used to it. Breakout rooms, we will use them a lot too. And there's an ask for help button. If you're on breakout rooms, you can invoke me. Invoke me? Yeah. Me pueden invocar. Okay, if, if you're on the breakout room and I will show up there. Any questions? So far, so good? Yes. No questions. No questions. No questions. Dora Elizabeth has a ghost on her door. Oh my God, that looks like a face. Hello, Dora Elizabeth, good evening. Let's test your microphone. Okay, I hope she can hear us. Okay, no questions, are you sure? No, yeah, Ileana has, is nodding. Okay. No, 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 oh, thanks. Okay. Okay. Well, we have two Davids on the class. But that are the same teacher. What? Are the same, miss. <laughs> Just it, kidding. Okay. So <laughs> let's start the class by covering our first topic. Tonight, we got to talk about wish. One thing you got to learn about me is that I like. Uh, you to make the class. So how do we do this? Um, I learned that it is the best way to teach something is teach it from the brain of the learner. And I, I tend to say this on basic one classes. You already know English. The thing is that you don't use it. Um, and you learn English before you knew it. You knew how to say how to say cochera in English, for example. How do you say that? Garage. Yeah. It's French or is English? And you have English. Garage. That's English. <laughs> yeah, that's English. How do you say emparedado in English? Sandwich. Sandwich. Sandwich, right? It's really weird. Okay. And so on, right? There are so many um, anglosajismos. Okay. Americanisms. Americanisms and so on. Ah, that's really weird. And, and we and they do have as well um, some Frankaikisms in, in the US. Uh, like, for example, how you say uh, prometido in English. Fiancé or something. Fiancé. 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 Right? Is there another way to say it? Girlfriend or boyfriend. No, that's not prometido, prometida. Come on. Don't say promised. <laughs> or the <Engaged>. promise. <laughs> Engaged. Mm, that's the action. How do you say chorro in English? <laughs> Advanced six. Tap. Come on. What? David? Tap. 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 Hmm. Yeah, that's a way to say it. Not common. 
But the most common one, what is it? Come on, Google it. Engagement. What? Oh, water jet. Water jet. And that's that's the thing. That's the name they give to the water when it comes out. Oh, okay. But the the chorro, the object, what? Faucet. Fa faucet or faucet. Play play it. Play it, gracias, so you can hear the the the, the pronunciation. Pronunciation. Faucet. 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 So, faucet. haha. Let's just start. You already know about the stress of the syllable, right? So where's the stress? Where is the stress in that word? Faucet. Last syllable. The first, the first syllable. syllable. Okay. Just keep that in mind. These are things that I will keep pushing you for, making sure you 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 make it at this point, because at this point you are becoming dyslexic. Am I right? Hopefully. Yes. Hopefully you're becoming dyslexic. Okay. And one day I wish you the worst thing that somebody can wish you for you to become dyslexic into Spanish, trying to find a word in Spanish and you don't know how to say it in Spanish. Like me trying to say cafetera one day, you know, for 30 minutes, I couldn't say cafetera. I was saying coffee maker, the coffee maker, that thing, you know, that thing where you put the coffee in and it, it starts. And my wife, my kids were laughing about me. That that's, <laughs> that's so funny. You, you couldn't, I couldn't remember or how to say perno in English. And of course, now understand this, you're reaching that point where technical words are your headache. Okay, but you have to understand as well, if you don't work, if you don't use that vocabulary in a daily basis, you may not need it, you may not find it useful. So never stop the learning process. Don't, don't stop the learning process. Try to have a notebook at this point. That's my only advice. Have a notebook. And if you see something on the street, okay, try to find a way to say that in English if you don't know it. How do you say poste in English? Um, post or light post. Uh -huh. Sounds like post, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now there's a dictionary way and there's an American way. What an American will say is one. See, this is what I love. I love coming from your brain, the looking pole? at your faces. Paul, Paul, you got it. Paul, text it, put it on the chat here in Zoom. Paul, now you can identify different poles, right? You have the light pole, for example, the light pole, electricity pole, okay? The sign pole, there's a sign pole, like the one that says Texaco or so on, right? The gas station sign pole and so on. So think about it, okay? If you want to improve your English, just look around you, look around you. Use your environment to find words. So let's move on. So I'm gonna start sharing my screen with you with tonight's topic. We gotta talk about wish. Who can tell me in English, what's the meaning of wish? What? Something you want to get? Is something, 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 something you, something you want to get? Something you want to get. It's something you want to get. Okay. That's one. Somebody else? Sorry, Juan Miguel. I, I, I talked before. No, no, it's okay. It's okay, baby. Okay, Juan? Somebody else, what is wish? A desire. A desire, so, something that you desire. Okay, what else? Come on, come on. 
maybe something that you were asking for, uh, maybe for a long time. Something that you were asking for a little, for some time, something that you were asking for. Yeah? Asking for, uh -huh. okay. Something you <clears throat> but, were. But, uh, for example, if you ask to God or to pray God, uh, okay, I wish that uh, something, yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, is that, yeah. Oh, yeah, something that you desire with your entire life, maybe. For, yeah. you, you have been desiring for your entire life. Okay, you know what? Let's play something really quick. And I wanted to know this before I project the book again. Um, how many of you are using a PC or a laptop? I really need to know this to prepare the next class. So uh, go ahead, go with the emojis again. Put a heart, put a heart on your screen if you're using a laptop or a PC, please. This is very important for me. Okay. Let me get the whole picture. Dora, are you using a PC or a laptop? Or is it your cell phone? Wendy? Computer, teacher. Excellent. Wendy, are you using your PC or your cell phone? What's yours mean? So far, I got the 60% of the class using a laptop or a PC. Put an emoji. Okay, Jose Osmin, Jarvin, Carla, please turn on your camera if possible. Okay, why am I doing this? It's because if we want a more interactive class, if you're using a PC or a laptop, we can fly. Okay? Then if you're on your cell phone, things may be a little bit more difficult. So for example, let's start this class, making it dynamic. I want you to Google the word wish and find synonyms for the word wish. And then just go on the Zoom chat and type one word, just one word. You cannot repeat somebody else's word, okay? A synonym for wish, hurry up, because everybody else is going to win, you know, is gonna tell you the word that you want to say. Covet, it's really odd. Okay, dream of, to dream of something, desire. Uh, <laughs> Juan, somebody said it before you want. Okay, so we have covet, desire, dream of. Want. Crave, I like that word. I always get this craving for chocolate. Hope, hope. Hope. Okay. Okay, that's it. Journing. Not a common word. Mm hmm Aspiration, okay. What if I tell you that there is an, a synonym that is not present on the website, on, on Google, as a synonym of wish? And they, uh, British, British English people use it a lot. Instead of saying, I wish, they say, if only, hmm, if only I, if only subject. Instead of saying, I wish, they say, if only, if only you were here, instead of, I wish you were here, right? Okay. okay. You want to continue the dynamic? I'm testing you guys. Okay. Do you like music? English music? Yeah. yeah. yeah? Yes. Okay. okay. Again, name a song with the word I wish you wish on the chat. Just one. Wish you were here. Ah. <laughs> Pink Floyd. Okay. <laughs> that That's one. Okay. 
Okay. That's Pink Floyd. Somebody else? Make, make a wish, baby. Okay. I wish you were here. Who sings that song? Oh, my God. My brain. Incus. Luis, that's repeated. I wish you were here is it the same as, as Pink Floyd. Incubus? Yes. Incubus. Wish you were here is not Chicago? No. No, wish you were here is, is Pink Floyd. Yeah. Make a wish. Do, the Doomy Brothers, the Doomy Brothers. Make a wish, baby. For your dreams to make come true. Or is it the Little River Band? Hold on. Earth, Wind, and Fire, I can remember. America? No. Oh my God, my brain. I'm sorry, guys, but I learned to speak English by myself, listening to music with the dictionary since I was a kid. So I have never been out of El Salvador. I'll Google it later. Okay, so let's move on. Let's see. The Temptations, David. Okay. I wish you would uh, what Dora? I would. It's uh, the Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Yes. Okay. Yes. I wish it would rain. This uh, is the temptation. No, no, no. I that's rain. no, really, no. That's yes. uh, Phil Collins, isn't it? Maybe, maybe because they found the the old songs. Oh, okay. Because Temptation is from the 60s. Oh, yeah. The yeah. Temptations, Polanka. Yeah. Yes, yes. Stevie Wonder, I wish. Hmm. Yes, Stevie Wonder is more, more fresh, more new. <laughs> this fresher is newer. Yeah, fresher. Uh -huh. It's fresh, fresher is newer. We will use that comparatives on this uh, way of speaking. Now, let's start from that point. This is not a grammar tense. Okay, it's just a way of speaking using I wish. So let's go through the grammar. Keep thinking, share. I want you to become musical at this point in your learning process, okay? Share links of videos after the class, not during the class, okay? But later, go on the WhatsApp chat, share music with your classmates. Stevie Wonder, it's amazing. I love Stevie Wonder, it's really good. Um, I was raised with that. Let's see. Okay. So how do we do this? Um, hmm. Ileana, will you start reading, please? Okay, teacher. Okay. How to use wish? Look at the samples in the box, then complete the practice below. Use wish to talk about situations you would like to be different. Perfect. Thank you. Let's go with Sulma. To make wishes for a present situation to change, use wish plus a noun phrase plus a verb in past form. Excellent. Thank you. Now, mind this. Oh, mind this. To make wishes for present situations uh, to change. It's like, let's say, um, think about the place where you live right now. Do you like the place where you live right now? Yes, I like it. Yeah, you like it? Let's say you don't like it. <laughs> okay. Then that desire of living somewhere else, and let's say, for example, that you live in Usulután or you live in San Miguel, okay? Nobody living in San Miguel will say, I love living oh. in San Miguel, okay? So <laughs> don't lie. <laughs> don't, don't lie to me, okay? So let's say you wanted to live in San Salvador. Then you can use this way of speaking for present situations that you, you want to change. Okay, you wish they were different. So that's the the confusing part of this this way of speaking. Another part that might be confusing for you is the second one. We will we will get there. 
So let, let's move on with the examples for a present situation. Now, I, something I have to say is that I, I must stick, I must stick with the grammar topic, okay? So we must stick with the grammar topic. Tonight, we're gonna learn about present situations. This chart is basically the class for tonight. Fernando Gonzalez, would you help us present situation? Present situation. One A, social entrepre entrepreneurship is in its infancy stage in Latin American countries. Thank you. Excellent. Let's see, Gracia, where is the stress on this syllable? I mean, what's the syllable stress? On the last one? Interpret entrepreneurship? Entrepreneurship. 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 Do we all agree? Entrepreneurship? Entrepreneurship. 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 What, yeah. What, yeah. Inter, it's not entrepreneurship. Be careful. Inter, entrepreneurship. Do you know, Anna, when I was at your company, I was kind of a manager. I became not a manager. Wait, a supervisor. But I was never given the title in the payroll, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, acting, yes, acting. I was an acting supervisor, and I was in a meeting, a supervisor's meeting, and I said, management. <laughs> Everybody started laughing at me. You know how they are, right? Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> they started laughing at me, and it was like, what? Management. <laughs> Can you say it one more time? Management. Ha, ha, ha. Come on, man. <laughs> Management. And there's where I, and that was back in 2007. Okay. I, I've been teaching this course uh, for, I don't know, 10 years already. That's crazy. Okay. So, entrepreneurship. 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 Why? Because it comes from inter entrepreneur. Entrepreneur interpreter so when you don't know a word just repeat it as many times as possible then record yourself play it from your cell phone and play it from another device and compare it self learning okay criticize yourself so social entrepreneurship is in its infancy stage in latin american countries okay hmm now, using wish, and as Claudia, how what would be the form using wish in the present? Mm, okay, it's, uh, we wish social entrepreneurship were not in its infancy stage in Latin American countries. Excellent. Now, this sounds weird. Why do we use where? Where? Mm -hmm. Let's go to that point for once. Um, let's see, Dora, Dora Elizabeth. Yes, teacher. Would you please help us reading notice? Notice that the form of the verb be we used to, be, to express unreal wishes about a present situation is where both for both singular and plural subjects. 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 Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Even at this point, advanced six, I don't want you to rush the words. Don't read fast. It's not about the speed, it's about the articulation, articulation, okay? I, I prefer listening to your articulation than your, your speed, okay? So let's go with the second example. Again, for unreal situations, you're going to use where when you should use was. Now, there is a misconception in Americans. My mother has lived in the States since I was seven. So she has been living in the States for 34 years or 34 years. And she came to El Salvador last time, like, I don't know, six years ago. And she was saying, I wear, I wear, you was, they was, and I was like, Oh my God, no, don't do that. But she said, that's the way they speak in New Orleans. And I'm like, okay, but that's when 
you use on real situations. I taught a lesson to my mother and she was like, oh my God, you're teaching me English and I have lived there for like 30 years. I can't believe it. Uh, <laughs> so funny, but they do. They do a lot of grammar mistakes. So don't worry. Okay. Just keep that in mind. On real situations, you say I wear, she wear. What else? It wear. We it, wear. It wear. Okay. He wear. He wear, right. Ileana wear. Sounds really weird. Okay. And yeah. uh, let's see. Um, yep. Yeah. I'm talking too much. William Alexander. Mm. Present situation. Mm -hmm. Latin American. To, to, uh, Latin American government funding for social entrepreneurs is not as high as in Western European countries. European countries, yeah, Western European countries. Okay, do the next. We wish. We wish Latin America funding for social entrepreneurs were as high as in Western European countries. And again, European. European. European countries. European countries. Entrepreneurs. 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 Nurs. Forget about the E. Entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Entrepreneurs. So the stress is on T-R-E. Okay. Good. So, what's the grammar here? You have wish plus a noun phrase. Now, let's apply the grammar. Where is the noun phrase on this first sentence, everybody? Social entrepreneurship. <laughs> yes, yeah, social entrepreneurship. Social entrepreneurship. Social entrepreneurship. Social entrepreneurship. Social entrepreneurship. Man, it's like tongue twister. Okay, that's our noun phrase. What about the second one? We wish. That's a long one. Latin American funding. Mm hmm. All of that. All of that, yeah. Latin American funding for social entrepreneurs. Now, why is this called a noun phrase? Can somebody tell me quick? Well, it's a phrase so containing the noun. Yeah, it, it, there's something else describing the noun. Gracias, right? Yeah, there's something else. A lot of things describing the noun. Just don't forget that you can replace that with it, right? The subject, it. So we wish it were as high as in your Western European countries. Okay, so far so good? So, so. So, so? Okay, let's yeah. continue. We have two more examples. Oh, my God. Hold on. Guys, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Hey, teacher, but we can see you. We can see you. Okay, that's weird. Recently, I moved my office out of the room, out of my restroom, and I came out of the restroom, and now I'm on the studio. Let's say this was before the the dining room. So I moved everything around. And there's um, uh, an electrical outlet where I have everything plugged in, which is related to the filter of the water. And when my wife turns on the filter, it turns off the camera. And I just discovered that. Oh my God, okay. Let's move. Next. Hmm, who hasn't talked? Okay, let me see. Wendy's microphone is not working. Luis Alberto, Steve, let's go. Social. Okay. Social enterprises funding counts from financial sources other than the sale of products and services. Of products and services. Okay. Now, how do we use wish in that context? 
everybody everybody wishes social enterprises funding didn't come from financial sources other than the sale of products and services. What? <laughs> right? It's like what? Huh? Social enterprises. We will get to this topic very soon. To, what are we talking about? Entrepreneurs. Wishes. Uh -huh. Social enterprise funding didn't come from financial financial sources other than the sale of products and services. Interesting. We will talk about that topic in a minute. Okay, so again, the noun phrase in this sentence that Luis over just read is social enterprises founding. Right? Yes. Okay, the last one. Uh, Carla, Lorena, are you there? Yes. Okay, will you help us with the last example? A social entrepreneur's possible lack of leadership skill and entrepreneurial I don't know. Ability contributes negatively to their survival. Excellent. Survival. Okay, repeat with me. You say, well, first you say, so shall. So shall. 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 So shall. There you go, social. Um, here you say interpreters. Entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, nurse, entrepreneurs, nurse, <laughs> entrepreneurs, better entrepreneurs. Thank you. Leadership, leadership. Okay, when you have a letter D or a letter T in the middle of two vowels, it comes into an R, a soft R. So you say leader. Ship, leader. Leadership. Uh, again, leader. What? Leadership. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Let me see. Look at your chat in Zoom. You say leadership. Like that. Leader, leadership. You got it? Yes. Leadership. This is not easy, okay? Entrepreneurial, 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 entrepreneurial. Entrepreneurial. Mm -hmm. Not an easy word. Negatively. And again, look at this. Vowel, consonant, vowel. So the T becomes an R, a soft R. Negatively. 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 Better. And this word, there, there, there. there, there, there. Forget about the I. You say there. Carla? There. There you go. There you go. There, survival, survival, survival. Okay. There, survival. There. <laughs> there. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So continue. Teacher. Hey. Can you repeat negatively? Negatively. 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 Oh, okay. Negatively. The stress is on the first syllable, Fernando. Negatively. 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 It's like when yeah. you say absolutely. Man, absolutely. Okay. Negatively. 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 So, how do we use wish in this sentence? Social entrepreneurs wish their possible lack of leadership skills and entrepreneurial ability didn't contribute negatively to their survival. Okay. So, notice that when the verb is not a form of B, the use of the auxiliary did is necessary if the clause following wish is negative. 
didn't contribute. When you use this in negative form, you need to use the negative. And the verb goes back to its base form, just the way, just the way you learned on basic three. If you remember, Ooh. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. Any questions? No? Okay. Let's go together. Let's get together right now. Oh, yeah. And we are 13 in theory, right? So we're going to do three teams. Is that, is that okay? Or should we do trios? Let's let's make trios, okay? I'm going to do trios for you. And and hold on. What, what are we going to do? I'm going to share a link on WhatsApp. Remember, there are copyrights on this Zoom video. So do not share the exercise on your screen. You may share... And I'm going to leave this open, hoping that you understood this instruction. You, you may share a whiteboard. Do you know how to do that? How to share a whiteboard like this on Zoom? Yeah. Yeah? OK. So if you want, you can share. You may share if you want. A whiteboard if you want to text your classmates and look at the examples. Do not share the link on the screen. Okay, so this is the first exercise. Well, I'm gonna split you first and send the link. Any questions? No? No. I have a question. How do you do the... Oh my God, I haven't been using Zoom for a while now and I forgot where you go. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm old. <laughs> How to do the break rooms? Uh-huh. I can't believe uh, it. I, I just... At the end of the lower bar, there uh -huh. are some, some points, something like that. You need to open that. and. No, but it's not that way. Hold on. Can you believe it? You know what? That option is not a, enabled. Give me just a minute, okay? I think I need to do something to the application here. Hmm. Allow me just a minute, okay? I'll be back. Sorry about this inconvenience, guys. I feel ashamed right now because I think we're going to have to. 
restart the meeting or something because the option is not on the screen. It's like if they didn't enable that. You are the host teacher. If you are I not know. the host, if you are not the host, you don't have the option. But if you are the host, yes, you have it. Okay, yeah, it's just not enabled. So, you know what? We're gonna have to work things out. I'm sending you right now the link and let's work here. Let's stay here, okay? Because we won't be able to go on breakout rooms for now, okay? So, let's go ahead. There's the first link, start answering. Don't cheat. Don't cheat, okay? Teacher, could you please share the screen in the students book or not? Okay. Sure, not a problem. Okay. That's a good point, actually. Yeah, thank you, teacher.
I, I think we have a different situation in the exercise hmm. because because uh, this exercise is for uh, is uh, something like a positive way. And in the exercises, uh, Sofia does not speak German. Okay. I I think Sofia wishes to speak. I I think I I don't know. This not follow the 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 procedure that we learn in the, the textbook. Hmm. Because Sofia does not speak German. Is the first uh, exercise. Sofia does not speak German. Okay, Maybe. now now let's say that she <clears throat> dreams about like me, like me. She dreams about traveling to German Germany. So, Sophia. Sophia wishes to to speak. Oh, Sophia wishes she spoke German. Remember that after wish. Which in this case is on the third form of the simple present, right? She's she wishes she, her, her, her no phrase is she. Mm. She spoke. So mm -hmm. She wishes she spoke German. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. It's a situation in the present that she uh -huh. wishes could be different. Could, could be different in the present in for the sources that were in the past. Uh -huh, uh huh. Something not something that is unreal. Yeah, it's unreal. Remember. Yes. Follow follow the, the the grammar, and you will find sense on this. So we're looking at the opposite of let's say you have a negative, then what would be the desire related to that negative thought? Uh, I'm sorry, I have a question regarding the fourth sentence. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, fifth one. Um, I wish, I, I'm sorry, I didn't leave a message to him. And um, may I say the answer? But yet, later. I wish because, I left. Uh, yeah, but the answer, he says, I have left. Which is a double. Don't passion. check the answers. <laughs> I know. I it. know. I was challenging you. Yeah, that's past perfect. Had left? Yes. In that context, definitely. I mean, we, we should use past perfect because it's a situation that we passed and we regret that we, we were not able to do something about it. But it's also. You can do it. I, mean, I, I can say I left him a message. A message. I wish I left him a message. Because I got it wrong. That's why I was wondering. No, it's just grammar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. It's like number three as well. And number two.
Come on. Two minutes. Okay, time's up. So let's go with the first um, part of this. Let's make this a little bit funnier. Hopefully we don't have any ads here. Ready? Yes, excellent. Okay, uh, I didn't share the audio, hold on. I need to go here and turn this off and let's go here. Okay, so let's go with the first uh, sentence. Sophia does not speak German. What does Sophia wish? Um, Jose Osmin. Jose Osmin, is Jose Osmin here? Is that, yep, is he here? I don't see him. No, he is gone, oh why? Okay, Jose Osmin is gone, let's see who's next. Ana Claudia. <laughs> Okay, give me the answer. Sofia does not speak German. Sofia wishes she spoke German. Yeah, I gave the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, God. <laughs> oh, oh, let's correct that. Thank God. Repeat, thank God. Thank God. Thanks, God. Uh -uh. Back in 2000, Thanks. in 2015 or something, I, I met a guy. A deportee, I met a deportee, and he corrected me that, and I verify this. So believe me, you say thing, uh, sorry, it's spelled is thank God, God, thank God. Okay. Thank That's God. A... Okay, thank God. Thank God. Okay. Not yeah. as strong at the end of think. Uh huh. Okay, thank God. Yeah, we don't say thanks God or thank God. No, thank God, thank God. Okay. Oh, I'm thinking you say thank, thank you. Uh, there, it sounds better. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank so, you, thank it, you. It must thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Let's see who's next. Iliana Giselle. 
Okay. Hey. Okay, <laughs> number two. I didn't um, meet my friends at the cinema. I wish I had met my friends at the cinema. Let's do it without the past perfect. Sorry? Let's do it without the past perfect. Without the past perfect. Um, I didn't meet my friends at the cinema. I wish... Mm. I, I could, teacher. I could meet. I... Hmm. Look at I the would... sentence. I wish I... I met. I, I met. met. Mm -hmm. My friends at the I, cinema. Teacher, I, I, I write in that way, but I, I miss so 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 easy. I, the instruction. I was confused. Uh, we must use just just the past simple or past perfect, right? After the wish. For now, we're just gonna work on present. So when you work with present, just follow the example: subject, wish, wish. a noun phrase. Okay, but in this case, our noun phrase is just this, this uh, noun, okay, I. Mm -hmm. Very important, the verb in past. I wish I met my friends at the cinema. Mm -hmm. And okay. yes, the most appropriate thing here would have been using the past perfect, but we're just practicing simple present, okay? Teacher, but that changes the, the meaning of the sentence. Yes, I know. We're just working on the grammar right now so we can get it straight, okay? So let's stick to the grammar, for, just for now, just for now. We will see the other forms as well. Okay. Gracias, Elizabeth. <laughs> Olivia broke her mirror. Uh, Olivia wishes she didn't break her mirror. That sounds... <laughs> Yeah. Olivia wishes she didn't break her mirror. Okay. Simple as that. Let's go with the next one. You see, this is very easy. Okay, okay, okay. Luis Albert. I feel confused all the time. I wish I, I wish I, I didn't confuse all the time. <laughs> oh, you almost got it. Almost think, think. Feeling is an emotion, is a state. I wish I felt. Hmm. I wish I didn't feel. Didn't. That that's that's possible. Is that possible, Gracia? What do you think? Mm. I wish I didn't feel. Yeah, right. Okay. Confused I wish I didn't feel. Uh huh. Confused all the time. Confused. 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 I wish I didn't feel. Confused. 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 I wish I didn't feel. Or weren't. Excellent. Yes, Anna Claudia. That's the point. I wish I didn't feel confused all the time. Now, advanced six, tell me another way of saying this. I wish I, I weren't. I wish I weren't. Well, I wish I hadn't. Mm -hmm. I, I weren't, I guess it's because mm -hmm. it's a feeling something you're I wish I, I were not so confused back then. I wish I weren't confused. Mm. Okay. I wish I haven't feel. I wish I, I but in this case, there's no past situation. There's no situation in the past. I if if it, there was a past situation here, pay attention. Okay, you mm -hmm. want to go that far? Let me go that far. I wish I felt, I mean I felt confused all the time. I wish I hadn't felt. I hadn't felt. I hadn't felt. I hadn't felt confused all the time. Yeah, that's exactly. a different topic. Okay, so I wish I didn't feel confused all the time. I wish I weren't. But mm -hmm. here, here you don't need to use feel. Mm, I wish I weren't confused all the time. Exactly. Now, the question, everybody, 
Does this change the meaning of the sentence? I wish I weren't confused all the time. Yeah, I changed the, the meaning because feel is different from being actually confused. <laughs> what does the public say, Don Francisco? What does the public say? Solo Luis entendió. <laughs> Come on, David. You don't remember Don Francisco? ¿Qué dice el público? <laughs> yes. Okay, come on, guys. I wish I didn't feel confused all the time. I wish I weren't confused all the time. I think it's the same thing. Same for me. I think it's the same, yes. Okay. Now, another way of saying all the time. I wish I weren't confused all the time. Okay, at all times. At all times, right? At all times. At all times. I wish I weren't confused at all times. Okay. Come again, Garcia? I wish. I... Oh, yeah. Gracias. Gracia. Gracia. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good one. That, that that sounds good, too. I wish I weren't confused at all. That sounds so pro. I, I wish I weren't confused at all. I wish mm -hmm. I weren't confused at all. In absolute, at all. That, that sounds really nice. Okay, let's go with the next one. Yeah, the time. Okay. Do you have to bear with me when I get hyper, guys? <laughs> the sugar boy. <laughs> I know. Sorry. Oh, look at you, William Alexander. I didn't leave a message to him. This is like the like the second one. Wait, where is William? Yeah, let's see if it's the same. So let's see. I didn't meet my friends at the cinema. I wish I met my friends at the cinema. I didn't leave a message to him. I, I wish. wish I left a message. He left. I Good. Left a message to I him. wish I left a message. To him. To him yes. I don't like saying that. And to, oh, by the way, guys, don't say him. Say him. Um, him. Yes. Him. The short it's song. Like him. 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 Yes. <laughs> okay, it's William, him. would you like to try the next one? My mother is angry with me. Ooh. William, come on. My mother is angry with me. Okay, I wish my mother were angry with me. Hmm, now make it negative. Were. Mm hmm. I wish my mother weren't angry with me. Mm -hmm. Don't say it, but just think about it in Spanish and you will understand why. I wish my mother were happy. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> that that's more appropriate, right? Happy with me. Yeah, I wish my mother were happy with me. I don't like the way it where sounds. I wish my mother was happy with me, but yeah, that's the rule. Wish my mother were my my mother were happy. Okay, let's go with someone else. Okay, we have David Samuel. Hold on. Uh, the number seven, Lucas fought with his best friend. Lucas wishes he didn't fight with his best friend. You got it. He didn't fight with his best friend. Oh, I keep trying to use the asterisk to make the bold letters okay so lucas wishes he didn't fight with his best friend huh would you Ovi? would you remove something out of this sentence no 
Maybe the pronoun he. Lucas wishes didn't fight. Mm, uh -huh. No, no. We need the pronoun. Uh, yeah, the pronoun uh, sounds. Lucas wishes didn't fight. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I will remove this. Okay. The preposition. <laughs> okay. Lucas wishes he didn't fight his best friend. His best yeah. friend. Fight his best friend. Fight with, with his best friend. With a win. No, yeah, you can do that. Okay. I hope you're taking these little advices or whatever you want to call them. You know, it's just like areas of improvement that we can take. Francisco Eduardo. <laughs> William didn't oh, prepare yeah. for the test. Ha, huh, William didn't prepare for the test. <laughs> Go, Francisco. William didn't prepare for the test. Yes. Can you repeat me, please? Repeat it. Okay, can you okay. can can you repeat it? Okay. Yes. William didn't prepare for the test. Okay. Uh, William wish. William uh, wishes. Didn't prepare for the test. Hmm. No. No. no wish. Mm hmm. Okay, in this case, guys, if you're following the grammar on these examples for third persons, what's going on here? We have a subject, wish as a verb. Okay. No, no, no. It's, it, chicos, están aprendiendo. No digan sorry. Okay. It's okay. You have to make mistakes. If not, I don't have a job. As simple as that. <laughs> if you don't make mistakes, I'm not doing my job. Okay, so let's correct that. Just follow the structure, as simple as that. You have a subject, then wish as a verb in third person. And now we need the main verb, okay? What is it? William wishes, we need he a subject. He, 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 prepared. He, prepared. he were prepared. He prepared. He prepared. Sounds better with the verb without being past, right? Without where, but yeah, in this case it's without where. William wishes he prepared, okay, for the test. For the test. Without oh, where? Without where? Okay. Because we're not talking about him being prepared. We're just talking about the action that he regrets he didn't do before. William wishes he prepared for the test. And yes, here using present perfect would have been more convenient. Okay. Everybody, next, well, let, let me do the names again. Come on, come on, come on. Jose Wilfredo. We have Jose Wilfredo here. No, oh my God, where is Jose Wilfredo? He didn't show up tonight, okay. Osmin is back. Jose Osmin, you're back. You were here. You were number one. So I am not as tall as you are. In here is where we use the comparatives. Jose Osmin? I wish I were. Excellent. I wish I were. Hmm. Yes. It's a comparison of equality, right? Very good. I wish I were. Hmm. Yeah, as tall as you are. Oh. I wish I were as tall as you are. Is there another way of saying that? I keep doing that. No, teacher. Yes, there is. Okay. I wish I were taller than you. Yeah. And it's not what they are saying. Okay, who wants to do the last one? My friend James lives far from me. I wish James didn't live far from Excellent. me. Excellent. I wish James didn't live far, far from, me. from me. Yep. 
So far, so good. Now we must Here, go I, on. I have a question. Yep. And William didn't prepare for the test. William wishes he prepared. He's not missing a, a bear for for indicate that he to indicate. Uh huh. Uh, uh, to indicate he, I don't know he is or he, he was. Hmm. Yeah, you could say he were prepared for the test. William wishes he were prepared for the test. Now, let's land this idea. William didn't prepare for the test. Is this action happening right now? Or is it already gone? Is it a past action or a present action? Past. Is past action? Are you sure? Yeah. Everybody. Yes. Yes, is the past? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's gone, right? Okay. It could be happening right now. Man, we're doing the test and William didn't prepare for the test. Oh my God. Yeah. William wishes he were better. Now, in this case, what will happen if this was the past? Can I still use William wishes? Yes. But there, I have to use the past perfect when the sentence is in past. William wishes he had prepared for the test. Is this right? Yes. Come on. I'm William wishes he had prepared for the test. Yes. I don't know, Rick. But that is in the case that this was an action in the past, right? The the action in the past, yeah, it's already gone. Mm -hmm. William, what? Desearía haberse preparado. Okay. David, I have an exception. When it comes to present perfect and past perfect, it's good to make people understand the grammar in Spanish the first, the second time, but just the grammar and all the examples and everything goes in English. But why? Because we, Latin American people, are not used to use, using the verb have as haber. David? Yes. Yeah. So we, we, we Latins, we, we, we don't use <clears throat> yo he comido, tu has bebido, right? We didn't use that present perfect that way that much. So we have to get accustomed. Okay. So let, let's move on. There's a lot to do about this um, grammar tense. I just send you all the exercises and the answers to the chat. Now I'm gonna challenge you again. I didn't receive what the, the exercise in the chat. Really? Are you on the chat? Did you join the correct chat? No, uh, this is Ana Claudia. Who who said who said she didn't receive it? I'm sorry, so Sulma. Yes. Oh, okay, Sulma. Wait. I'm going to do something here on the Zoom chat. I'm going to send you a link to join the, the WhatsApp group, OK? It's okay. our first day. So there you go. Uh, in fact, let me send this to everybody. If you haven't joined the, the WhatsApp group, go ahead and join it. And later, maybe somebody can help me. Or I'll do it if you can resend all the messages. So let me challenge you. Let's continue with more exercises really quick. Now using have in simple present with wish can be a little bit confusive. So let's see. Everybody, I don't have a car. I don't have a car. 
This is pressing. Yeah, that's pressing. In fact, that is true right now. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's, I'm changing my engine still. For three months, I have been changing the engine on my car. <sighs> so I don't have a car. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have a car. Okay. Wish, wish. Everybody, come on. I wish I had a I, car. I, yeah. wish. I wish I had a car. You wish. <laughs> I wish I had a car. And this is the use of have in the past. When you, you talk in simple person, right? So I wish I had a car. Good job. Hmm. Hmm. Let's continue taking the Maruchan out of our brain, okay? <laughs> I can play the piano. I can't play the piano. Okay. I wish I could. Perfect. Yes. Why? William, why? Because of the past of the verb. Exactly. Could is the past of can. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, somebody else. Come on, guys. Everybody needs to participate. Tiene preferencias. Solo David habla. Come on, guys. <laughs> I, I will mute my. <laughs> I'm at work. I wish were. Oh. At work. I wish I were. J you're lying right now. Don't <laughs> lie. Say the truth. I wish. I weren't. Where? Uh huh. I weren't. At work. Excellent. I wish I weren't at work. Okay. I See? wish I were at English class. Oh, uh, come on. I wish I were at the English class. Did you need it? <laughs> okay. So keep going. It's winter. Somebody else. I need to hear Dora Elizabeth, Jose Osmin, Zulma, Carla, Jarvin, Francisco. Do you need to participate? Juan Miguel? William. I wish it weren't. I wish. I wish it weren't winter. Easy. You got it. I wish it weren't winter. Correct. I wish it weren't winter. Okay. This is easy. It's just a verb to be. If you noticed. Amil. Amil. Uh huh. I wish I weren't ill. Good. I wish I weren't ill. ill. What's the difference between illness and sickness? Homework. I wish I weren't ill. Okay, I'll go straight with someone here. Anna Claudia, mm -hmm. I don't have new shoes. I don't have new shoes. I wish I had new shoes. Easy. So simple. Okay. I wish I had new shoes. Okay, and that's the right way let's see i can't afford 
to go on holiday. I can afford to go on holiday, Dora Elizabeth. I can afford to go on holiday. I'm poor. I could. Uh, mm. I wish I could afford Excellent. to go on holiday. Excellent. I wish I could afford to go on holiday. Anybody, do you have any questions? Let me just do two more and then you will do your own examples. This is a long one. Okay. Mm, Jarvin. I don't have time to read lots of books. I don't have time to read lots of books. Okay, lost in action, Francisco Eduardo. No, Jose Osmin. Okay, Carla Lorena. I wish I had time to read lots, lots oh. of books. <laughs> huh? Excellent. Read lots of books. Simple as that. Okay. So let's go with some free practice, but let's do it this way. I'll send you these examples, these last examples. Do you have any questions so far? It's becoming easier, right, with the practice. Questions? No questions, teacher. Okay, so let's start with David, David. Give a sentence to Juan Miguel before he falls asleep. <laughs> uh, sorry, teacher. Now, what are we going to do right now? For example, let me start. Let me start with um, with David. Okay, I'm going to give a sentence to David. Then David will give a sentence to Juan Miguel. Juan, okay, Miguel, okay. Juan Miguel will select somebody else and so on and so forth. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I answered your question and then give a question to Juan Miguel. Yeah, you have to make it a wish. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Hmm. Okay. I have pink walls, David. I have? I have pink walls. Pink? I have or... pink, pink See? walls. Pink? Pink walls in the car. Sorry, sorry, I, I don't get walls. it. Walls. I have pink walls. Like your wall behind you. The walls yeah. behind you. Yes. Color pink. Ah, uh, sorry, walls pink, like me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have sorry. pink walls. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's my, it's my wife's favorite color. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I have, I, I wish I, I didn't have pink. No, words. you wish, you really wish your, your pink no, it, for me, <laughs> No, because, matter. because if, if it's you, better for me, be, be, be agree. <laughs> it's no, better, if you better argue, for me, agree, because. You argue, if you argue with, with your wife. Yeah, <laughs> yes. that's that's what he's saying. It's better for him not to disagree with her, yeah. not yeah. to argue. <laughs> okay, good job. Okay, so I uh, wish I didn't have yes pink walls. Uh, okay, I wish I didn't have. Okay, I um I didn't uh, speak French. Juan Miguel, I wish. Yeah. 
Yeah. No, no. So uh, could you repeat me, David, please? Again? Could you repeat? I didn't could you speak. repeat for me? Yes, could, you, could you repeat for me? One. Oh, okay. Could you repeat for me, please? Okay. Okay. Uh, I didn't speak French. I didn't speak French. I wish. I wish to speak Simple. French. I, I wish I. In the um, past. I wish. <laughs> I, I'm I'm a little the subject confused. and then the past. Yeah. I wish I could speak French. No. Only the past. Wish I speak. Only the verb and past. I spoke. Spoke. Yes. I think. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Come on, teacher. Yes. I wish I spoke. I wish I spoke yes. French. Yes. Ah. Okay, I wish I spoke French. Okay, yeah. give a sentence to someone else, one. Mm -hmm. Hurry up. The sentence is, I wish to visit uh, Europe, yeah? To who? Uh, yeah, the sentence is for, maybe for Ana Claudia. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> rejoining it. You are telling me your wish, right? Yeah. Please repeat it. That I couldn't hear. Please tell me again the sentence. I wish to visit Europe, mate. Uh -huh. Next year. Yeah, next. No, this year, okay. please. <laughs> I didn't visit Europe. He's telling me the wish, so. Yeah. So I didn't visit Europe. Wait. He told he told me the wish. <laughs> he told me what he is wishing. Uh huh. He told me I wish to visit Europe. So you said. Well, I, I didn't visit Europe. Yeah, that's right, right. Okay, guys, look at your chat in Zoom. You're in advanced six, so I don't want to hear. 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 Could you repeat me or could you repeat for me? No, try to say something like, beg your pardon. Come again, please. Come again, please. Okay. Beg your pardon. pardon? Beg your pardon. Beg, beg your pardon. Beg your pardon. Beg your pardon. Pardon? Like that. Pardon? Pardon. Beg your pardon. Come again, please. Come again, please. Now, if there is confidence, not in a professional environment, not in a professional environment, okay. you, you could say, could you run that by me again? You run that by me again? Could you run that by me again? Sorry, could you run that by me again? I didn't get that. Man, I didn't get that. I didn't get that, yes. I didn't get that. Can you, re yes. can you repeat, please? Okay. Sorry, I was falling asleep, teacher. I didn't get that. Okay, it's just an example. Okay, good job. Continue, Ana Claudia, say something to someone else. Um, mm, I didn't want to sleep. I didn't want to sleep. Who? Uh, to Liliana. I knew it. I didn't <laughs> want to sleep. Yeah, yeah, just, right. Iliana was like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. me. She's gonna say me, okay? Me. <laughs> okay. 
I didn't want to sleep. You are like the best this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Virtual best is right? Virtual okay. best. <laughs> That's good. Okay, Lena, I didn't want to sleep. I didn't want to sleep. I wish I... I, I didn't want to sleep. I wish I wanted to sleep. Yes. Now repeat with me. I wish I, I wanted to sleep. I wish I wanted to sleep. Mm. I, I wish I wanted to sleep. Wanted to, wanted to, wanted to, wanted to. Wanted to, wanted to. Wanted to. Wanted to. Mm -hmm. I wish I wanted to, to sleep. Oh, oh, close. I wish I wanted to sleep. I wish I wanted to sleep. Wanted to sleep. Wanted to sleep. You got it. I wish I wanted to sleep. I wish I wanted to sleep. Perfect. Just remember, guys, before some verbs. Uh, in Spanish, there's no verb with S and consonant. So you have to breathe and then let the air flow between your teeth. Then you say S Student, they sleep, slap, slot, stay. There's a lot of words. Stay, stop. Okay, s s stop. Don't say a stop. A student, right? Start. <laughs> a start. <laughs> hope you got it. I hope you got it. Good job. So, I wish I wanted to sleep. Okay, guys, that that's it for tonight. I hope I hope you enjoyed the class. Um, let's meet together. Let's get together tomorrow again um, at eight o'clock. Don't miss the classes. I'll prepare better tomorrow. We will use breakout rooms and work in some topics. So I hope you enjoyed. If you have ideas for the class, check your books. Let me know if you have any idea that you would like to bring to the class to make it more dynamic. It's up to you if you want to make this more entertaining. You can text me again anytime if you need help with anything. And please go to the platform, see if you have access. That's very important. Good night. I'll do the attendance and you can say night night. Okay. 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 So let's go again. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Good night. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Thank you. Todos con la cámara encendida, por favor. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Good night. Good night. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Night night. Night night. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good night. Gracia Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Excelente. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Good night. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Claudia, we stand, we're staying 10 minutes, okay? okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Nope. Okay. Juan Miguel Bran Mejia. I'm here, teacher. Good night. Luis Albert, Steve Bonilla, Canales. Night, night. Night, night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. I think she left, right? Yeah. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good, Good night. night. Carla, did I mention your name? Carla Lorena Leiva. Yeah, I didn't say your name, right? No. no, no, no la mencioné. Permítame un minuto. Carla Lorena. Preras. Ok. Ya le tomé nota acá para que veamos si está acá. Ok. Ok. Good night. Good night. Ok, guys. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you, teacher. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night, everybody. Okay, Ana Claudia. So let's Hi. continue with the conversation. <laughs> okay. Okay. So 
tell me what what's your current position oh i'm an agent i always love to be an agent i don't want to grow to grow no 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 come on i was a supervisor at a different company i was in sales for a, i live here in santa ana right now hmm. And I was working for a funeral home and the cemetery, Parque Jardín La Flores. I was a supervisor right there. And you know, the best lesson I learned is that I want to win my own money. <laughs> I don't want my money to depend on someone else and people that they have any, or they, uh, I don't know, they, they, say anything to not going to work at the end as a supervisor you need to close a sales they win the commission i learned a lot in that so i decide no i will build i will keep my position as an agent i'm happy because i'm getting at the time that i supposed to get in and i get out the time i get out and i made my commissions and that's it <laughs> i have my budget and that's it my bosses always are asking me why don't you you know you have the people skills you have this you have the experience you have this and that but I don't like it I don't want people to be dealing with people I learned that wait but you've been an agent for 17 years almost 17 years next 17 year. yeah. 17 years yeah uh, so you're you're a living miracle <laughs> yeah, because it's supposed working in this environment like Nickel Center uh, media, let's say it in that way. Uh, you are supposed to just work like around. No, I'm not time. talking about the time you work, but mm -hmm. the age. I'm 41 oh, and yeah. I, I'm afraid they will let me go at any given point, you know, because I'm too old. No. I don't, I, I'm reaching the goals. I'm reaching the goals, but <laughs> not as not as the kids that they hire nowadays. Uh -huh. I mean, these kids, these kids are flying, you know, they're always very hyper and willing to grow uh -huh. because they have nothing else to do. But, but there are think... other ways to grow, you know, because one thing that I discovered is people, they don't like to read. And Every day you uh, learn something new. And for example, what I do is I sell equipments. They are electronic logbooks. They are installed in trucks or commercial vehicles. They are used to track the hours of service or working hours for a driver, but also they measure the fuel optimization. If there is a Cold call, a mechanical thing, stuff like that. So you need to read and you need to learn on a daily basis. Now we are implementing since last year the uh, IT, the Internet of Things. So we've been discovering, learning about this topic. The information is right there, but you need to read. And one thing I discovered, my uh, teammates, they don't... Uh, They don't read. They don't get It's, informed. They don't like to be informed because the information is right there. We have Slack channels. We use this program Slack. There are specific Slack channels. They are busting. You just don't imagine how many information, the, the, the recent information, the latest information they found, they also pay for expert people to develop things with people That is um, the expertise is with the language, stuff like that. So it depends on you if you want to read, if you want to. Wait, it's up to you. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. Exactly. It's up to so you, the, you. Are you working on sales in, in English? Both English and, English and Spanish. In this account, mostly in Spanish, but mm -hmm. I must sell also. In you English. know what? I, I When I was there, really short story long um mm -hmm. long story short i had in six months six different team leads or supervisors really? yeah uh because we were part of the best selling tech support team in the small and medium businesses oh, really? on dell so then dish dish came to to mm -hmm. the company and the last guy that <clears throat> that was our supervisor 
his only mission was to let go 120 aliens. Oh, my goodness. And he did. In three months, he swiped the floor. My he God. left 120 people out of the company with the same lame excuse. You know, it's just but it two years. Me. Yeah, that, that was his job. I mean, I, I don't blame him. I hated him in that moment, you know, but later I understood his, it was his job. When maybe I was because maybe because you were in the technical support area because no they since were closing. At the beginning I was in sales. Do you know what? It was outbound selling the department that we were on. I can't remember how they used to call it. I don't remember. It was um a place where you have to uh re win uh, that, that's the word that I'm missing. It's to re win the, the clients. Clients that are that were gone out of the company and they, they we you, you had to uh, win back. Okay. Uh -huh, it was uh -huh. the win back team. It was a win back team. You had to call them 10 seconds, you had to convince them to stay with you on the line and regain the, the car the customer. It was oh my god. We were able to make it. We were making a whole lot of sales, but eventually they decided to close the, the account and instead of moving everybody around. I just decided to let us go. Remember that at the time when you were into the company, uh, that was, I guess, the time when it was moving to stream. There was. And we didn't know what will happen because I remember the, uh, the, the, the leaders, they've been talking about one year of testing and let's see. Oh, but wait, before they let us go, they actually moved us to a Spanish account after almost four years working in English mm -hmm. out of out of the sun they mm -hmm. decide to move us to a Spanish account technical support in Spanish and our supervisor or, or floor walkers or floor mm -hmm. workers mm -hmm. they were all kids with three mm -hmm. months three months in the in the company, in the company. And, and you were like they were explaining you everything in Spanish. You were in a call in English and they were speaking in Spanish. And you're like, uh, God, I don't know. Uh, I was difficult, difficult times. But I guess everything changes. You know, I'm I'm just saying it was a bad time. And yes, it maybe was the, not the, the transition. Future, the transition, mm -hmm. the transition yeah. maybe. Because, um, yeah, I've been working with the Dell account uh, since I um been there the first day i was in sales for the business division but it always has been a mixture english and spanish then uh when the sales department i was in the business division then they moved us to the uh, home home uh, division home users yeah the consumer, the consumer the, the consumer the consumer exactly i wasn't was consumer i wasn't consumer was so difficult because people thought that the operating system was the same that the office home and student all oh, you had to explain a lot and, and we've been uh, we got used to be to discuss and to make sales with the directors of the company with the it selling all these um a, all the complete solution with NAS servers, computers, and then start selling one computer for one customer. It was so difficult, but then the business division. Uh, and I guess com commissions, direction. commissions were yeah. higher in the business. Always, like, always. Uh, and I remember the first year, I don't remember I spent my money for the supermarket. Always. We were gifted with uh, gift cards. With, with gift cards. Four hundred dollars. Oh right? my god, I missed yeah. that. Yeah. But in our case, it was a competition in a small medium business because we were technical support, right? But uh -huh. at the same time, you had to upsell something. Uh -huh. It was more difficult. <laughs> but but if you made it with one XPS or or uh -huh. an Alienware, if you sell <laughs> an Alienware, <laughs> man, yeah. it was a lot of money. So. Yeah. I remember. It's the hit yeah. the good commissions. I, I, I won. was in the transition right commission. there. After that, uh, with Stream, I continue working with Dell. And then when Converges came up, um, I was working with the HP account, the opposite. <laughs> the oh, HP, HP yeah. was there? It's, it's still there. HP computer what? is 
it's right there. And I was in the sales division as well. I learned a lot. But it's so I guess you you thing. met Tony Rubio, right? I don't remember. It's I guess I remember the, the yes, Negro, the tall man with yeah. Muscle. He was short with blonde hair before he left. Uh, Bendek, of course. I think oh, Bendek, Bendek is still yes. there, right? Yeah, He's still yeah. there. Maria Sagrera is there. No, no, no. No, she, no. She left. Okay. And there's a lot of people. Lot of... Pa Parras. <laughs> I found I found Parras one of these days in in Price Mart. He's he's a fat guy, you know. He's very funny. <laughs> but nowadays I'm working with uh, this account. The name is Keep Tracking. Now his name is Motive, and we sell all this equipment for trucks and dash cams. Or... I have a question for you that I wanted to mm -hmm. to ask you something. Uh, will you get retired of that company? I I suppose uh, I will accomplish my my age that is what i'm thinking you know i always thinking why i don't feel like tired to being doing the same and the only answer i i find to it is because being in sales you have a short cycle for one month you start in zero and you run and you reach your goal and then it's uh, finished and then you start again i guess that is the only answer I find because now I'm better than three or five years ago because living of in Santana course. yeah living in Santana you know I was uh, a I forget this verb I uh, community community no el you were commuting commuting uh, yes I was commuting and my routine was waking up at 3 30 a.m preparing my breakfast oh my god 4 30 a.m my my the the private uh, transportation the one that we paid a group of people uh, uh, colleagues and stuff like that uh, he picked the apps to the at 4 30 a.m of course what we wanted to avoid is the 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 traffic jam in those chorros right and then uh, you are at the office early to try to do something, uh, maybe sleep or take your uh, break, have your breakfast. I'm sorry, and uh, then at the end you arrive late at home, like around nine or nine thirty. Looking, it's a nightmare, to, to definitely. Dinner, exactly. How long have you been working from home? Oh, since March the. Uh, 2020 March awesome 2020. wow yeah hopefully they, we no continue right? to sleep, huh? <laughs> hopefully we continue with this yes i think so once we deliver the numbers and we always uh sell my boss also the, the bosses in the area the management team they are also working from home they don't want to go to back to the site so yeah they, okay. knowing them knowing them <laughs> which I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So They're just like, lazy. They don't want to go. No, no, no. We think we are making every day, all of us, we're making our best to continue working from home. Of course, you know, there, there is always someone that is not making the right thing, but at the end, they decide to go and to lead the company. So Doing the right thing. Well, glad to have you. So <laughs> let, if, you, if you need any help with anything, just let me know, okay? Okay. I'll continue here and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Hope you have a Thank good night. You. And I, you know, I want to tell you that I like your dynamic class. It's so dynamic. And We're studying. That. We're studying. Wait for it. <laughs> okay. okay. Good night, teacher. Good night, Claudia. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.